My name is Julian McAlpine. I am 90 years old. My name's Catherine McAlpine and I'm the proud mother of three young men and my middle son is Julian. The future. New house, I get new family, I'll be working. Sophie is my wife. What do we got to do before you get married? Possibly a good job first. I'm Tara Elif and I'm 33 years old. My name's Margot and I'm Tara's mother. I work at the embezzlement office. I do filing, meet, organise meeting rooms. Fill up with photocopiers and a lot more. We were really keen for Julian to have the same opportunities as his brothers. And the evidence is really clear that for people with intellectual disability, that lots of work experience really helps. People at the end of school fall off a cliff, is how families describe it. It's at one moment they're at school and they're doing all the things that you do at school, and the next moment there is literally nothing. There is only the bedroom <laughs> and the TV, you know. There is really nothing to do. I saw some mothers stop working around that time, or I saw that people made decisions very, very quickly. Oh, we'll just go into the day program for a little while. We'll just do this thing for a little while while we try and figure it out. But in between it being very difficult to navigate all the systems that you have to navigate to get to open employment, people sort of lose the, the, the um, motivation to keep going towards employment. And we didn't want that to happen to us. We thought that work experience was pretty important so that she, she actually found what it was that she wanted to do in her life um, because having a, a job that you enjoy is probably the most important thing. During high school in year 9 to year 12, I did work experience. It's all different kinds of them. I did office, Two of them were office and two were retail shops. We had a really great careers advisor who phoned around all the local organisations that Julian showed interest at working at. He made sure that he found work experience placements for him. I was at work in Big, Big W. I was McDonald's and I was working Buddings, a uh, hairdresser. You worked in a hairdresser? Where else did you work? Child care for little, little kids. I'm very pleased to have the NDIS now, um, but we still find ourselves navigating between the Disability Employment Service, the NDIS, the DSP, and we had to navigate through the school as well, because it was us that suggested to the school that in year 11 and 12, he does one day a week work experience. I work in canteen in Ireland running basketball at Stadium. Julian's older brother and younger brother were playing basketball and then he said to me one day, when am I playing basketball? Basketball turned out to be really important because he could play basketball in the playground with, with the other boys and girls. He was accepted to be part of the basketball community at the school. I approached the manager, the Nunawading Basketball Stadium. I went and asked her whether or not they might be prepared for Julian to do work experience. And then when he was productive, that that would turn into a real job. Eventually, he got good at it. Making coffee, and uh, I was uh, serving customers, and uh, I was throwing like my favorite hot chips makes me feel happy, happy, and proud. The NDIS is very important 
to improve Tara's skills for the workplace. She has been doing training in Speak Up program and disability awareness. We currently use some of the NDIS funding for speech therapy. He has a specialist support worker who has a teaching background, does quite a lot of work with him in terms of giving change. So we were able to use some NDIS money to do some stuff at home about giving change and about serving that we could then translate straight away into his job at the canteen. I think the top priorities for, for uh, young families to consider would be definitely travel training. Being able to catch public transport is very important. I'd say the second most important thing is to build that independence and the confidence in um, your person with a disability because you know, they've got to try things and it's all right if they fail, it's all right if they stumble. Like the rest of us, they can pick themselves up and keep going. You are allowed to have high expectations and you are allowed to know the thing that your person can do and you're allowed to build on those strengths and don't let anyone else tell you that they can't do the things that you know deep in your heart that they actually can. And those things include being in charge of their own life, making their own decisions and working. Uh, Who's in charge of your life? Uh, 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 myself. You are in charge of your life.